What a fun day I've had, who is a naughty girl for leaving her room in a mess, not me, that's for sure. Shelby Rose Barrett, your room is obscenely messy. Go and tidy it up, right now. You naughty girl, and why should I do that? The fact that I'm your mother, and you have to do as I say. Stop being naughty and do as you are told, no. What's going on? Your sister's being naughty, and she won't stop. Not again. I'm not being naughty. Shelby Rose Barrett, you are being very naughty, refusing to go and tidy your room. You'll go to bed if you keep misbehaving. I'm off to change into my casual clothes. As for you, Missy, if you don't want to go to bed, you will stop being naughty and do as I've told you. Is Shelby being naughty again, Lily? I'm afraid so, Michelle. She's being really naughty this afternoon. I'm back. Hello Aunt Michelle. Hi Lizzie, sweet niece. Are you okay? I'm okay, but I hate to see my mum having a hard time with Shelby. Lizzie, my sweet little princess. I do hate for you to see me like this. I just want your naughty sister to listen to me when I tell her to do something. As for you, Shelby, I do all these things because you're my daughter, and I love you. I'll get mum and dad to pop in. We heard you were having trouble with Shelby. Shelby, your mum loves you very much. Why do you play up for her? Because I like being as good. Shelby, I'd like a private talk with you. I hope mum's idea works. We're back. Did you manage to talk sense into her? I did, and she tidied her room. Enough to keep those fucking mice out. Excuse me Shelby. Language please. You naughty thing. I think we'll put your nappy on, in a minute. Yours too, Lizzie. Okay, mum. Good girls. Come and have dinner, and then it'll be straight into your nappies. That's good girls. Now it's time to put your nappies on, there, all that nice and clean. And in your nappies, you can relax now. I'll change you when you need it. There's a funny smell in here. Girls, is it time to change your nappies? Change their nappies. Yes Jess. Change their nappies. I put nappies on them just before you came. Come on girls. Let's go and change your nappies. Why does Aunt Lily still put nappies on Lizzie and Shelby? They still need them, sweetie. Jess, do you need a nappy on? No, why? Because by my notice you've wet yourself. Come with me, and we will put a nappy on you, now. Nappies for Jess, every time we take her out. Hi, Roscoe and Lucy. Where's Lily? She's upstairs putting a nappy on Jess. If you want to know why. The naughty girl wet herself. Michelle told us you were having trouble with Shelby. I was, but it's all calm now. What was she doing that was naughty? She was disobeying me, swearing and generally misbehaving. It all calmed down after she took me somewhere quiet to talk about it. So how about we give you each a penny for taking the trouble to pop in? Oh Shelby you're very sweet. But there's no need. The least I can do is ask you in for a coffee. All of you. The kids can have some juice and cookies. Mason's just dropped off to sleep, so he won't want any snacks. More for us. Absolutely not. I'll leave him his share for when he wakes up. And you are not to touch it. Shelby. I sense more naughtiness. Shelby, if you're going to be naughty again, you can go without a snack. Don't you dare. Yes. Shelby. Lizzie, are you being naughty too? No. Why? Because you're rubbing it in. Again. And that's very naughty Lizzie. Sorry, Mum. That's okay. Just don't do it again okay?
I got a call from my grandmother Grace, and she's popping in to see me. I haven't seen her in a long while. Hi Lily, my precious little baby. Hi Nan. I'm glad you could make it. Please sit down. Thank you sweetie. No, thank you. For coming over today. I'm glad I could come and see my now grown up granddaughter. I'm so proud of you. Thanks Nan. That means a lot coming from you. Are my great grandchildren then? Yes, they are. All five of them. I'm looking after Nemo and Jessica for a few hours while Romana, Roscoe and Lucy are out. Where are they? There you all are. Jessica, Nemo, Lizzie, Shelby and Mason. How wonderful to see you again. We are pleased to see you again too, Nanny Grace. We miss you. So very much. And it is a pleasure to see you again. Well, Shelby, don't just stand there. Aren't you going to tell your great-grandmother how much you've missed her? That would be a dirty fit. She looks too old, too. Shelby Rose Barrett, you do not talk about me like that. That is really disrespectful. You are a very naughty girl. Naughty. No, I'm not. Shelby Rose Barrett, what you just said to your great-grandmother was very naughty. If you don't stop misbehaving, I will put you to bed. You will say you're sorry right now. I don't do apologies. You are being very naughty today, and I have had enough. Stop it, or be put to bed, you naughty girl. I won't stop it, that's bullshit. Shall we, Rose Barrett? Your language is atrocious. That's it. I'm taking you upstairs and you are going to bed. You are being so naughty today. Yes. Shall be. Oh, Lizzie, you are so naughty. Rubbing it in, again. Your mum warned me about your naughty habit of rubbing into things. Lizzie, you need to stop it. I heard you rubbing it in again, Lizzie. That's very naughty of you. Go to your room and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, naughty little madam. Here he is, my lovely darling son. Hey, Mum, how are you today? I'm very well, thanks, Mum and yourself. I'm also very well, thank you. Hi, Romy. Hi, Lils. Hi, kids. Hi, Aunt Romana. Good to be naughty again. Shelby, you better not be naughty here. You'll be in big trouble if you do. Not just with your Aunt Romana, but with me as well. So don't you dare be naughty. Yes, shall be. Lizzie Lily Barrett, did you just do what I think you did? Oops. I thought so. You rubbed it in. Again. You are a very naughty girl. Go to the corner, right now. I don't think Lizzie realizes what she's doing. Actually, Romana, she knows perfectly well what she's doing, and she knows she's not allowed to do so. She does it to be naughty. Yes. But I don't intend for it to sound that way, and shall be, I'm just trying to make you see the error of your ways. Okay, Lizzie. I should have known that's what you were doing. What a lovely day it is. I feel like playing in the garden. Shelby, my sweetheart, it's a lovely day outside so if you want to play in the garden, feel free to. Mum, I'm three, on time. Oh you clever little lady. 
Come here. I love you, mummy. I love you too, pickle. I'm sorry, mum. Did you want me to pickle some onions or eggs and put them in a jar? Oh, you. You're being very funny today. Off you go out into the garden and play. Lizzie and Mason are waiting for you. I know. If I'm naughty, you'll put me to bed. Strange. I wasn't even going to give that warning. She's being so good today. Wait a minute. What's that noise? I can't believe this. There we all were. Having fun and our ball gets not only punctured, but also becomes unfixable. Stupid fucking ball. Whoa. Shelby. Whoa. Take it easy. Don't have a tantrum. Please. I can't help it, Mum. The ball is fucking broken and... Shelby. Stop. Calm down. Shelby, baby please calm down. I can't bear to see you like this. It breaks my heart. What about the ball? I'll get you a new one. Please calm down and stop jumping on the sofa. Thanks, Mum. I hate for you to see me like this. I'm sorry, Shelby. You don't have to apologize, as you weren't being naughty. You were upset about your ball, which I am going to replace. So how about you turn that frown upside down? Sweet sister, please. Mum hates seeing you like this. That's much better. Shelby, you're my daughter, and I would never want you to be unhappy. I love you too much to see you in that state, and I'm sorry for swearing. Shelby, you don't need to be so apologetic. It wasn't your fault you swore. You did it out of upset. What a brilliant day this is. It certainly is a lovely day. I must agree with you there, Mum and Dad. Michelle, we didn't hear you come in. Of course not. I came in quietly. How was school? It was good. I'm 13, and a typical teenager. No shit, Sherlock. Mum, watch your language, or I'll wash your mouth out with soap. I thought I heard a certain naughty man using bad language. Oh no, Lily. Not you too. Nan, I'm surprised at you. Being an immature brat, at your age? Really? I thought you were 68 years old, and not six. Grace Rosanne Strobbles. You either grow up, or I will ground you for two months. How dare you? Serves you right, Nan child. This is really entertaining. I've never laughed so hard in all my life. Lily Rose Barat, you are 23 years old, and you have three children of your own. Stop acting like a child. Right now. Mum, you've just entertained me by telling Nan off for acting like a child. It's killing me. You think that's funny? Oh, you naughty girl. Millie, I think you're being a bit harsh. Lily's just being herself. You can't blame her for that. You're absolutely right, James. I'm sorry, Lily. That's okay, Mum. You might want to put Nan back in nappies, though as she's being immature. Not anymore. I'm aware my behavior was childish. I'm sorry. I forgive you, Mum. A good thing, too. I don't want a sour head for a mum. What a night I had last night. It was a good one. Good morning, Lizzie. 
Is it? Lizzie, you haven't got your naughty head on today, have you? My naughty head? No, why? Because you're being naughty, that's why. Mum, I'm not being naughty. You are. Lizzie Lily Barrett, I will get cross if this behavior carries on. You don't normally behave this way. You're right. I don't, so I'm going to stop. Oh, that was such fun. As if I didn't know it was you, Shelby Rose Barrett. You put her up to it, didn't you? And why would I do such a thing? This amateur brat next to me did it off her own back. What? No, I most certainly did not. You fucking liar. I'll let her off for that. As for you, Shelby Rose Barrett, you do not put your sister up to being naughty and then accuse her of doing it on her own. That is highly inappropriate behavior, and you are very naughty to keep it up. Keep it up on what? The wall. That's it. Shelby Rose Barrett, I am taking you upstairs and you are going to bed with a nappy on. How dare you? I can't believe that sister of mine. On the other hand, I love her, so I'll forgive her. Aren't you sweet? Come to mummy. Lizzie can attack Tori Pony's question mark. I didn't know what the boy I'll say in it group and in that way to join Pat. Whoa, 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 Shelby, slow down. You're speaking too fast, and I can't make sense out of what you're trying to say. Sorry about that, Lizzie. I just don't know what to do about me behavior like you being not the end. Shelby, stop speaking too fast. Take it slowly. What are you trying to get Lizzie's advice about? I'm trying to get her advice about how I can't be better behaved. I'd be only too happy to advise you. Have a seat. Would you like to be alone with her for this or would you like me to be present? I'd appreciate it if you were present. I am worried she won't take me seriously. So where do we begin? First of all, I'm proud to be the one you trust with this advice. As for your behavior and how to be better behaved, here's my advice. If you don't want to be naughty anymore, you need to start listening to mum when she tells you to do something, and do it without a fuss and no questions asked. I urge you to take my advice seriously. Oh, and you've got to stop swearing. It's not nice, and I think you know that. Lizzie, I'll take you seriously. From now on, you won't see any more bad behavior from me. Nor will you hear any more foul language out of my mouth. This is a promise from the depths of my heart. Oh, Shelby. I'm very proud of you for making this decision to be better behaved from now on. However, I will expect you to misbehave sometimes, as it's a normal thing for children. Hang on, forgive me if I'm wrong, but Lizzie's never naughty, is she? That is incorrect. I was naughty the other day. Under my influence? No, of my own accord. You might find it hard to believe. It's true, Shelby. I put her to bed for it. Off that subject now because it's not nice. Now, my little babies all three, come to mummy. I love you all to pieces. I'm up and ready after a nice week. Now to watch some TV. Not before changing your nappy. Come on, okay, let's go and change my nappy. There you go. 
all that nice and clean, why am I still in nappies? Because you still need them on. You have a problem with leaking in your knickers. That's why I put them on you during the day. Ha, huh, what a baby you are. Still in nappies. Ha ha ha. Lizzie Lily Barrett, do you want nappies on? No. Well then don't be naughty, otherwise you will not only have nappies on, but you'll go to bed as well. Apologize to your sister for making fun of her, right now. That was very very naughty, and I am not happy with you. I'm not being naughty. Yes you are. You are being very 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 naughty, and it is completely beneath you. Stop it, right now. Or nappies, and bed. Do you need the toilet? No. Yes you do. Go, now. Otherwise it'll be a nappy -ill, and you will be in nappies until I say so. Naughty girl. Well don't just stand there. Toilet, or nappies. How dare you, mum. I need a nappy change. All right, Shelby. Let's go and change your nappy. And then I'll put Lizzie in her nappy too. I'm just off to change Shelby's nappy. And then I'm going to put a nappy on you. So, come with me, now. There you go. That's Shelby's nappy changed and you in your nappy, Lizzie. Remember Lizzie. Your nappies are a punishment for being naughty. And they stay on until I say otherwise. I know I'm not stupid. That does it. Off to bed, now. Naughty girl, I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Mum. You're a good girl, Shelby. Do we need to change your nappy, sweetheart? Yes, please. Okay, come and change your nappy. Good morning, you three. Good morning, Mum. May I be the first to tell you how awesome you look today? Oh, Shelby, you are so very sweet. Thank you so much. Our Mummy deserves it. Absolutely. You three are the sweetest children ever. I love you all so very much. We love you too, Mum. You're the best. There's something you all should know. I'm going to have another baby. Mum, that's great. Congrats on your pregnancy. We shall look forward to being older siblings. How far along are you? Two months, so it'll be eight months before the baby arrives. I've picked out names. Olivia for a girl and Jack for a boy. Those sound like great names, Mum. This is awesome. What's all the glowing about? Well, Mum and Dad, you're going to be grandparents again in eight months. I'm pregnant with my fourth child. Congratulations, sweetheart. That's fantastic. We love these three little dears so much, and we are going to love this new little one all the same. You have come a long way over the last 15 years, and we are very proud of you. You deserve it, my precious little baby. Is Michelle around? I'm right here, Lily. How would you feel about being an auntie? I'd love it. I'm glad to hear it because I want you to be the godmother as well. Oh, Lily. I'm so honored. Thank you so much.
Shelby, are you with us? What, what, what? Where am I? I'll take that as a no. You were daydreaming again, weren't you? Yes, I was. Nothing wrong with that. Is the? Of course not, precious. I think it's cute when you go off into your own world. Thanks, Mum. Shelby, you're my daughter, and I love you. It's my job to make sure you're happy, healthy and well looked after. I forget how clear you make things sometimes. Not to worry, sweetie. It happens to all of us sometimes. Anyway, it's time I changed your nappies now, girls. Here you go, all that nice and clean. Nappies changed and very happy. We both have to come out of nappies before the baby is born. Well, Shelby still genuinely needs nappies because of her bladder problem, so she keeps them on. You, on the other hand, can come out of them tomorrow. I think you've learned your lesson. Cool. Thanks, Mum. Lizzie, you're nearly five, and shouldn't even be wearing nappies anymore. Olivia Lord, but it is up and ready. For a smacked bottom for being a naughty girl. What? What have I done now? You've left your room in a terrible mess. That's very naughty, Olivia. Go and tidy up, right now. Or it's a smacked bum. I'd take that seriously if I were you. Well, you're not me, so what out. Olivia Laura Barrett. Look at me, right now. That was very naughty. You do not speak to anyone like that. Especially not your family. How dare you? You either change your attitude, or I'll put you to bed. All right, would someone please enlighten me, as to why Mason's crying? Because I have no idea. Your naughty sister here is the reason why Mason's crying. I should have known you'd be the one behind it all. Olivia Laura Barrett, you need to stop with this behavior. It is not nice. It is in fact ever so naughty, and you need to straighten out. Bad girl, right? I think I'd better put you up to bed. Naughty girl. Naughty Olivia's giving mum a hard time. Again. This has got to stop. That's why I've come to help her out. As Olivia's godmother. Thank heavens. You better get up there straight away. Aunt Michelle is like a superhero. Who was that, Lizzie? That, sweet Shelby was Aunt Michelle. Come to help mum deal with Olivia. Where's Mason? Mason? He got tired so I put him to bed for a sleep. He needs it. Oh bless your little heart. Bless both your little hearts, you're so sweet. All sorted now. Thanks for coming to help me, Michelle. Anytime, Lily. After all, she's my goddaughter. Best be off now, as I promised to help mum with the shopping. If you want to know why Mason's not up hits, sorry to cut across you, darling but I already know. I overheard you and Lizzie talking, just so you know, I did it out of sisterly love. I know you did, sweetheart, and it was really sweet of you to do so. You are all really lovely children. I love all four of you to bits. Well, 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 if it isn't three of my favorite young people. Grandad, how wonderful it is to see you again. We were wondering when you'd honor us with another visit. Actually, girls. He's come to take you out for the day. That's right. Mason needs peace in order to sleep. I need to check on naughty Olivia.
I think it'd be nice if I behave for once instead of being lucky. Mummy, good morning. Good morning, Olivia. I guessed you were going to have a go at being good today. That's right. The first thing I'm going to do is tidy my room, as you've been nagging me for three weeks. That's my baby girl. Off you go, Mum. I think Olivia must be sick. She said hi to me as I passed her unbelievably tidy bedroom. You might want to get Romana to check her out. No need to worry, babes. She's just taking a swing at being good today. That's all. It's about time she had a go at that. Olivia's behaving oddly today. She just told me she loves me and gave me a hug. Lizzie, you don't need to worry about her. She's behaving in a more appropriate way today. Olivia has been replaced by a clone who wants to be good. A clone? Oh, Mason, you're so funny. I'm just being good for once. And from now on, I like getting positive reactions. You have no idea how long we've been waiting to hear you say that. It's about time I started behaving. What's happened to my voice? Don't worry, sweet little sister. Your voice has just matured with you. Well done. We're all very proud of you for choosing goodness over naughtiness, sweetheart. Can anyone tell me what 88 plus 88 is? 166. Well done, David. Your father will be proud. Miss Barrett, you are a great second cousin and a fantastic teacher. They made the right choice hiring you as our year six teacher. Thank you, Romana Stratton. That is very sweet of you. Attention students and faculty. This is Mr. Dubo here. Can Miss Barrett come to my office please, as this is an emergency. I wonder what it could be about. You naughty girls wait till your mother gets here. I'm here, sir. What's the emerge? What? On. Earth. Are. My. Daughters. Doing in here? They've been naughty. Of course. That's the emergency. Lizzie Lily and Shelby Rose Barrett. I want you to tell me the truth. Have you been naughty? No, mum. We were sent here unjustly. If you're lying to me, I will ground you both for two weeks. Tell me the truth. Now, have you been naughty little girls? We are telling the truth. You girls were sent here for disrupting your classes and using foul language. What? Disrupting classes and using foul language? So you girls were naughty and you lied to me about it, no to both. Lizzie Lily and Shelby Rose Barrett, I know you're lying to me and that is very naughty indeed. How dare you? Not in the fucking slightest. That's it. I'm taking you naughty girls home, and when we get the you are both going to bed for your behavior today, and you are both grounded for four weeks. Each. That's Olivia in bed having her nap. Lily, why are you back so soon? Why are you so angry? And what are Lizzie and Shelby doing home? If you must know, these two were naughty at school today. So I've grounded them for four weeks each, and brought them home to put them to bed for being so naughty, right now. I thought those two knew how to behave. So Jess, how are you today? I'm fine thanks, Mun. And yourself? I'm very well thanks, sweetie. I hate to interrupt your happy chat, 
but I have a warrant to arrest Jessica Barrett. Arrest my daughter, on which grounds? Fraud. You are not arresting my daughter. She wouldn't do such an naughty thing as commit a crime. How dare you? I don't have a choice. She goes to jail, and she goes now. That's it. I'm getting Roscoe on the phone. I can't believe I got arrested for something I didn't do. This is so unfair. I'm in jail for no reason whatsoever. Just my little baby. Come on, let's get you out of here. I said you could visit your daughter. I didn't say you could take her home. Wait just a moment here. You have no reason for keeping my daughter in here, nor did you have a reason for arresting her in the first place. Let her out, right now. She committed fraud. Fraud? What kind of nonsense is that? I know my daughter would never do such a shocking thing. My wife phoned me at work and told me you'd arrested our daughter. I come to get her out, and you refuse to release her and accuse her of committing fraud. How dare you? Dad, can we leave? I feel like going to the park. I'm sorry, sweetie. I can't allow you to go to the park on your own. You're too young to cross the roads without an adult. Can you tape me? I'm sorry, baby. Not today. Your naughty sisters are still grounded and I need to be here to watch them. I start being good and Lizzie and Shelby start being naughty. What happened? I know. It's like you three have completely swapped roles. Can you change me, please? Okay, come and get changed. Ah, girls, nice of you to honor me with your presence. I think you both learned your lesson. You're no longer grounded. Just promise me you'll never be naughty like that again. We promise. Good girls, come here. I love you very much, my precious little babies. We love you too, Mum. We're sorry for being naughty little bastards. Excuse me, Lizzie. Language, please. That was naughty, wasn't it? Sorry, Mum. Mummy. Yes, Olivia. Is there something I can help you with? Actually, yes, there is. What is it? Come out and say it. Well, you're not going to like this, but... But what? You're not being naughty, are you? Of course not, but what's that over there? Wait a minute, you little monkey. I know that trick, and I'm not falling for it. Nice try, you cheeky little bugger. Shelby Rose Barrett, how dare you call your little sister that nasty name, and use such language, you bad girl. Shelby, I told you not to do that. You would do well to actually listen to my advice. That's naughty. I hope you don't continue when Nan gets here. Lizzie's right, Shelby Rose Barrett. It was very naughty of you to ignore her advice and use foul language instead. If you behave this way for your grandmother and I find out, you will be grounded for a very long time. Don't you dare. I hear you. I'm not deaf, you know. Shelby Rose Barat, 
How dare you let me catch you speaking to your mother in that disgraceful manner? That's very naughty. You better not be naughty whilst I'm looking after you. Otherwise, I will put you to bed. I demand an apology from the way you spoke to me, you naughty girl. Why? Because you were really rude to me, and that is no way to treat me. I am your mother. I'm sorry I spoke to you horribly. Well done, Shelby. Good girl. I forgive you. Come here. I love you. I love you too, Pickle. Be good for your grandmother while I'm out. Shelby, you don't have to stay standing. What can I do? You can either sit down or go and amuse yourself. Don't be naughty though. I brought some nappies, and you will be put in one if you wet yourself or mess your knickers. I'm off to the toilet. Nope, you're going to put one of those nappies on. Come on. Nappy, now. Mum, I'm the babysitter, not you. The nappy only goes on her if she wets or messes herself. Why mum likes to put nappies on the children I'll never know. Nan, I thought I heard your cheery voice. Lizzie, my sweet little angel. Come here. What a lovely welcome. We appear to have been nanified. Nan. Hello. I love it when you babysit us. I have returned. What took you so long? I pooed out a tree stump. You mean you had a bit of a poorly stomach? Yes. Come here and let me look at you. Turn around. Oh dear, oh dear. Is someone having trouble with their tummy? I am, Aunt Romana. I think I'd better give you a check-up. Come on, sweetheart. I hope it's nothing serious. Well, did you find out what was wrong with her? I did. Unfortunately, the poor little dear has a very poor tummy, so I put a nappy on her and put her up to bed. I need to be here to look after her, but the other kids are fine and must not go near her. And what about your son? You need to look after him too. I know that. What's keeping just so long? Don't worry about it. I'm sure she's fine. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Just, what's wrong, Strawberry Muffin? I've done something I'm not proud of and I've been hiding it from you. Whatever it is you did, it can't be that bad. Tell us. I use a bad word or two in class and spoke rudely to Miss Stone. You did what? Swore in class and spoke rudely to Miss Stone. Jessica Rosemary Britt. How dare you be naughty in school, and then hide it from us. That's very naughty. We thought you knew better. You leave us no choice. We have to ground you for three weeks. You've done a very bad thing. Not only that, I am going to have to take you upstairs and put you to bed. You naughty girl. I deserve it after what I did. Damn right you do. Bed. Now. Uncle Roscoe, why are you so angry? She was naughty in school and hid it from me and Lucy. Exactly what naughty antics did she get up to? She used bad language and spoke rudely to her teacher. Oh, she did, did she? How very naughty it was of her to do that. I take it you've punished her. We grounded her for three weeks. And I just put her to bed for it. Well, I must say it's a very well-deserved punishment. Hopefully she'll learn never to do it again. We're glad you agree.
That's your routine checkup complete, my son. Come here. I love you, Mum. I love you too, precious. And that's what I saw. Okay, that's enough evidence for me to go on. Thank you, Mason. Anytime, officer. What's going on? It's okay, Lily. Your son witnessed a theft across the street an hour ago, and he was giving me his report. So, my son is helping you catch the thief? That's right. And now, thanks to his report, I can go and arrest the thief. Well done, Mason. You helped the police to catch a thief. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Mum. Mason, you're my son, and I will always be very proud of you, and want what's best for you because I love you. This is so sweet. Hi, Olivia. Is it just you here? Yes, at the moment. Lizzie and Shelby aren't back yet. We are now. We heard about how our brother helped the police to catch a thief, and we couldn't be more proud. What a day. I'm a tired girl. Oh dear Olivia. You do look tired. I am. Is it time for mummy to put her precious little baby to bed? Bed. I'm not that tired. You look really tired, sweetheart. I think I'd better put you to bed. Come on, don't be a naughty girl. Please, don't. Olivia, my sweet little baby girl. Are you refusing to let me put you to bed because you want to fall asleep in your mother's arms? Yes, mummy. All right then, baby. Come to mummy. Off to sleepy weepy, sweet little thing. Better change her nappy and put her to bed. Bless her little heart. Mum, why is Olivia in bed? Has she been naughty? No lovey, she's tired. I see. Mum sure has been a long time. Nemo, I have something to tell you. What is it, Mum? I'm three months pregnant with my second child. Mum, that's amazing. I'm going to have a baby brother or sister. Well, isn't this a good turn of events? I know what you mean, James. We have another grandchild on the way. From Romana this time. This is amazing. Romana is pregnant my seventh Barrett great-grandchild. I can't wait. This is really awesome. I'm going to be an auntie. Again. I can't wait. What a story. Romana is going to have another baby. I know. Isn't it exciting? We've got another little nephew or niece on the way. A uh, very excited daughter over here. I can't wait for my new little cousin to be born. I'll get Lily on the phone. She and the kids have to know.
Well there's a story well worth spreading around. Romana is pregnant with her second child. I'd better tell my kids. Lizzie, Shelby, Mason, Olivia. Can you all come here please? I have some news for you. What is it mom? Why are you all glowy? Do tell us. Are you pregnant? Nope, I'm not pregnant. But your Aunt Romano is. This is amazing. We are going to have another cousin. I do love seeing my four, seven, eight and nine year old children happy, my precious little babies. Hang on, that's my phone. That was your Aunt Romana on the phone. She suggested that I put nappies on all four of you, as your excitement could cause you to have messy accidents. So, all of you come with me, and we will put nappies on you all, now. The kids haven't been down yet. I hope they're all right. Mum, did I hear you correctly? Are you worried about us? Yes, Shelby, you heard me correctly. I am a bit worried because none of you kids have been down yet. Mum, you had no need to worry. We were going to come down soon anyway. Relax. Don't shit yourself, Shelby Rose Barrett. Did you just say a naughty word? Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm sorry. I thought so. That is foul language and you are very naughty to use it. One more time, and you'll be grounded. Grounded? Are you shitting me? That's it. You are grounded for a month. How dare you continue to use foul language after being warned. That's very naughty. I thought you knew better. I do. Very clearly you don't because you keep swearing which you know is forbidden in this house. And that is really naughty of you. Get to your room, right now, naughty girl. Shelby, where do you think you're going? The shop. Why? I don't think so. You're grounded, remember? Your mum hasn't said your punishments off yet. You can, though. Nice try, Shelby, but I can't. That's not for me to decide, it's up to your mum. So you are not to leave this house, back to your room, you naughty girl. Aunt Michelle. What was that all about? Shelby was trying to trick me into taking her grounding off. Still? You know, as our babysitter, you have the authority to punish her. I know I do. If she carries on behaving the way she is, I'll put her to bed. I'm not going to bed. You will, if you don't stop being naughty. Oh yeah, and I will tell your mum. Stop it, right now. It appears that you don't have a choice, Shelby. If you don't want to be put to bed, you'll have to stop being naughty. Fuck this. Right. That's it. Shelby Rose Barat, how dare you carry this bad behavior on? You are going straight to bed. I'll be back in a few, Lizzie. I'm just going to put naughty Shelby to bed. Why Shelby insists on being naughty I don't know. I thought she snapped out of it five years ago.
Lily, I found out I'm having a daughter. That's brilliant news, Romy. Congratulations. What are you going to name her? Her name's Dory. Well, there's a Dory well worth spreading around. What a perfect name for your daughter. Thank you, baby sister. Nemo is so excited about having a little sister. You want me to be the godmother? You don't mind that, do you? Romana, I'd love to be Dory's godmother. I do a good job with Nemo as my godson. I know I'll do great with Dory as my goddaughter as well. So do I, you are the godmother. Thank you, Romana. If I ever have another child, I'll ask you to be the godmother. Oh, Lily, that's very sweet of you. Come up here. I love you, my darling little sister. I love you too, my precious big sister. I couldn't be more proud. Looks like that's over. Sucks, doesn't it? Yes, Shelby, it really sucks. Olivia, are you being rude again? No, ma'am. I just said it sucks that this series of the fourth one is over. Olivia, where did you pick that up? I wonder where she picked it up. Shelby Rose Barrett, she certainly didn't get it from me. She must have done, because only you would be naughty enough to talk that way around her and encourage her to repeat it. If you're so sure, then why don't you just prove it? Shelby Rose Barrett. How dare you speak to me like that? That is really rude and disrespectful, and you are very naughty to even think about it. What are you going to do? Get me arrested? No, but I am going to do the following. Put you an appeal, give you a dummy, put you to bed, and ground you for four weeks. Now, naughty girl. What was all that about? I think you know. Shelby was being naughty again, was she? Bingo. Oh, that girl. What's wrong with her? Shelby, you smell awful. Go and change your nappy for goodness sake. Change my nappy? But I don't need to. Yes, you do. So go and get changed. What's going on? Mum, you need to change Shelby's nappy, as she's messed herself. Come on, Shelby. It's time to change your nappy. I don't need a nappy change yet. I will come and get changed when it hits 500 degrees in Antarctica. This will be never so. Don't be naughty, Shelby Rose Barrett. How dare you think that's appropriate. Come and change your nappy right now. I'm not being naughty. You are being very naughty, Missy. Refusing to change your nappy is very naughty indeed. I will ground you longer if you don't do as you're told. Do you want to be grounded longer than four weeks? No. Well then. Come and change your nappy. Right now. Naughty girl. No. Fine. You're grounded for six months. And your nappies stay on until I see a change in your behavior. You are going to come with me. And I am going to change your nappy. Now.
Dunn. Shelby. Yes, Mum. You don't have to keep doing my jobs for me just to say sorry, but I am sorry. I know you are, and I've already forgiven you for that. Come on, sweetie. Let's get you in the living room. Actually, after being grounded all this time, I thought I might need the fresh air. Good point, sweetheart. Off you go and get some fresh air. Be careful out there. I give you this precaution because I love you, and I want you to be safe. You're very precious to me. I know how much you love me, Mum. That's why I've asked Lizzie to go with me and keep me safe. Are we ready to go? Yes, Lizzie. I'll see you both when you get back, my precious little babies. I love you both to pieces. How very sweet. I love this show, it's awesome. Shelby, can I have a word with you? Yes, there's your word. Seriously Shelby, I need a word with you. Don't be cheeky, but there's another word. Please Shelby, this is a very important matter. I need to talk to you. You are talking to me, aren't you? Shelby, I'm not joking here. It's important. Stop being a smart-mouthed little girl. What's it regarding? It's regarding your recent brush with failure. Failure? Yes, failure. So you found out I failed history? I did, and I tried my best, Mum. Please don't ground me. Ground you? Why would I ever do that? You tried your best and that's all I expected of you. You're not cross? No, sweetheart. I'm very proud of you for giving it your best. That makes me feel better then. Knowing my mum's not cross or even the slightest bit disappointed in me for failing, Shelby, you're my daughter and I love you. It would be cruel of me to ground you and not think your best was good enough. It was more than satisfactory to make me proud. Thanks, Mum. I forgot you wouldn't punish me. Unlike my teachers, you also forgot I'm one of your teachers. And I say you're not in trouble. I love you, Mummy. I love you too, precious. Mum. Lizzie, what can I do for you? I was wondering if you could advise me. Of course I can. Sit down. What's the problem? To be honest, I don't know what to do. A boy from your class keeps asking me out and I keep turning him down, but he won't leave me alone. You came to the right person. First let me ask you how long has this been going on? Six weeks. You've had this trouble for six weeks? Right. Here's my advice. Keep away from him. I try that every day, but he keeps cooming near me and bugging me to go out with him. I'll have a word with him about it. If he continues to bug you after that, I will start giving him detentions. I won't have my daughter being harassed like this by anybody. You did the right thing bringing this to my attention, sweetie. I want my daughter to be safe.
Come on, Romana. You can do it. One more big push short to do it. Welcome to the world, Dory Maureen Barrett. Mummy loves you so much. Romana, she's so cute. My goddaughter is so cute. Congratulations, Romana. Your daughter is really cute. My, my baby sister is so cute. Dory, this is your big brother Nemo. And I love you. I'll be honored to look after my godchildren next week. I'd like to take you up on your offer. Then it's settled. Next week, Nemo and Dory are coming to stay with me. Are you sure you can handle six kids for a week? Of course I can. Piece of cake. What sort of cake? I forgot you're a little taker. I'm sorry. I forgive you and Lily. Dory is back after school. What a shitty place it is. Dory, Maureen Barrett, you do not use that type of language. How dare you think that was anywhere near appropriate. I will be telling your mother when she comes. You dirty-minded freak. You expect my mom to come. Map is for you. How dare you speak to me like that. I am not only your auntie, but your godmother as well. And I am sending you to the corner. I'm Romana's daughter, and it's what she says that goes. Excuse me, whose house are you in? I'm in my house, so you can just buzz off, right away. That's funny, the last time I checked, this is my house, and I think you'll find it's what I say that goes, and I say come with me, and... I will put your nappy on, now. You'll do no such thing. You do not speak to your aunt like that, and then threaten to put nappies on her. You know this is wrong. And that's very naughty. Naughty? You don't even know how to behave. Oh, how dare you speak to me like that. You bad girl. As if I couldn't have guessed. Dory Maureen Barrett. Being naughty again. Are you? No, but maybe you're the immature brat instead. Why you insolent little? Come on, Dory. Home time. Good. Got me out of this house of losers. Dory Maureen Barrett. How dare you speak about Aunt Lily and the cousins like that? That's very naughty. What an ungrateful little wretch. What was that about, Mason? Dory was being naughty again. Why can't she behave? I can't believe you would speak rudely to your aunt and cousins and insult them. You get your naughty bottom off to bed, now. No, you go upstairs and put a nappy on. You look like you're about to shit yourself. That's it. Come with me, and we will put you a nappy on, now. I love you too, Olivia. Bye. Mum, Dad. That was little Olivia on the phone. She told me how Dory was insulting Aunt Lily, Lizzie and Shelby. She can't cheer them up. You better get over there, Jess. They need your entertainment. Bless that daughter of ours. Why Dory has to be naughty all the time, I don't know. I'm disappointed in here. She needs to learn to behave. She doesn't ever do as she's told.
Don't even go the you. That would make me 64. What a great time we had on holiday. It was brilliant. It was the best holiday I've ever had. What a holiday that was. Couldn't agree more. It was very refreshing. I loved the holiday. As did I. What a lovely holiday we all had. It was really lovely. It sure was. I enjoyed every moment of it. I did too. It was great. I especially loved relaxing by the pool. So did I. It was really relaxing. I especially enjoyed the exquisite meals. I especially enjoyed swimming in the clear blue waters. I especially enjoyed spending time with the family. Same here. I especially enjoyed the late night banter. I especially enjoyed the boat party. I especially enjoyed surfing those massive waves. I especially enjoyed the peace and quiet. Same here. And I enjoyed the rest from teaching PE. I especially enjoyed lounging in the hotel. Same here. That might happen 30 years from now. You're naughty Shelby. Going ahead with the flash forward after being told not to. Grounded is what you are now. Olivia, are you okay? Why so fearful? I'm worried sick about Ricky. Ever since transferred here, Dory has been picking on him. Saying that he deserves what's coming to him. Are you talking about Richie Little, our new classmate? Exactly, we've got to do something about it before Dory drives him out of here. We can't have that. No, we certainly can't. Is Richie in here with you? Richie, I'm your teacher. You can tell me anything. Exactly what has my naughty little niece been doing to you? She's been kicking and hitting me around. And saying nasty things to my face. And no one who witnessed it, Olivia? Why so fearful? I just came and reported Dory to my mum. As a classmate, I have every right to be concerned about you. I can tell your concern for me is genuine, because you're fearfully sincere about it. Ricky, I'm your friend, and I never want you to feel like you don't belong to our school, because you do. Olivia, my little princess. I'm sure Richie appreciates your friendship. Please calm your nerves and try to cheer him up. Come on, mate. Let's go and cheer me up. My Olivia is such a good girl. Always very kind and considerate of other people's feelings. I'm so proud of her. Get out of my way, you piece of rotten garbage. Dory, Maury and Barrett. Get your naughty bottom in here, right now. What do you want? First off. Don't speak to me like that. How dare you? And now, I want answers. Why are you bullying my new student? Well, I'm waiting. Answer my question. Because he's a crybaby who needs to be in the nursery and in nappies. How dare you treat him like that? He is a lovely boy. All he wants is to make friends and you are making him feel unwanted. That is highly inappropriate behavior, and you... Little Missy are very naughty to treat him like an outcast. You just turned yourself detention. Detention? Ew, 
I'm scared. That's it. As I'm your godmother and you're staying at my house for a couple of months, I have all the parental authority over you, and that means when we get home, you are to go straight to your room, as you are now grounded. How dare you smart off to me, naughty girl. Lulu, I'm so scared, and... You are having nappies on straight away, so come with me, and we will put you a nappy on now. That's much better. If you're going to act like a baby, I will treat you like one. When we get home, I will be changing your nappy, and then I will give you a dummy. And put you to bed in your old cot. As I kept hold of it, so let's get you home, change your nappy, give you a dummy, and put you to bed in your old cot. Now, you big baby. And just where do you think you're going? Out for some fresh air. Nice try, Dory, but you're not going outside. My mum grounded you, remember? The only place you're going is back up to your room. She left me in charge of you and is trusting me to make sure you stay in. So, back to your room. Now, you naughty girl, in fact you're supposed to be in bed, so I'm going to put you back in your cot. But I'll change your nappy first. Come on. Is anybody in? Shelby. Are you here? Shelby, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Dory has just put a nappy on me and told me off for acting like a baby. Right. That's it. You go and take your nappy off and change back to being properly dressed. I'll sort that naughty little baby out. What's going on here? It's not our place to get involved, but Dory's still being a very naughty baby. She put an appy on Shelby not so long ago. And she has been very severely told off and put to bed properly. Mum will hear about this. Your mum's just on her way home. She asked me to pop in and check on you. Dory is causing us a great deal of trouble. I dealt with it. Okay, so Mason's out on a study trip with the school, we're here and Olivia. I haven't seen seen her since breakfast. Where is she? She's with mum of course. The primary school finishes at 3.35 remember. They'll be on their way home. We're back. Oh my, whatever is the matter? Why are you sad? And why is Olivia crying? Olivia is crying because she's had a very hard day and is really tired and stressed out. And I'm sad for her. Oh no, poor Olivia. And poor you. Have a seat. I can't. I need to put Olivia to bed. No, you need to sit and relax. I'll get you a coffee. And I'll put this poor exhausted little princess to bed. Thank you girls. That's most kind of you. We're doing this out of love. Come on, my sweet little candy drop. Let's get you off to bed. Those girls will make great parents one day.
what a night it was. Hope I never have another dream of that sort again. Another dream of what sort, Pickle? The sort that made me grow up dreamt that my antisocial and bad behavior driving you to an early grave and it made me see sense. I'm very proud of you, sweetheart. I'll understand if you think I still need my nappies on. I do, but only at night. And when we go out, we're going to see your grandparents soon, so we need to put a nappy on you. Romana will be here with Dory soon. By my understanding, she's mature. She has. Apparently. Even more apparently, we need to put a nappy on you, Mum. Before they get here. We have arrived. Hello, Romana and Dory. How are Dory? Is your nappy wet? Yes, Nan. Then we'd better go and change you. I'll do it. Come on, Dory. Let's go and change your nappy. I'm so happy. I just found I'm six months pregnant with a daughter. I can't believe it. I'm going to be a mother. I think I'll name her partially after Nan, Grace Jane Barat. I like the sound of that, Michelle, my baby. What's the news? You and Dad are going to be grandparents again in three months' time. Who's having a baby? I am. Mum and Dad, I'm pregnant. Six months with a daughter. Congratulations, sweetheart. That's brilliant. Any ideas on names? I thought it would be nice if I named my daughter Grace, after Nan. That's a lovely idea, my angel. I heard everything. I am both delighted that I'm going to be a great grandmother again, and honored to be the namesake of Michelle's child. Congratulations, Michelle. I am so proud of you. You're going to be a fantastic mother to your daughter. Thank you all so much. Michelle, we are chuffed. Our baby is having a baby of her own. Jess is coming to babysit for Olivia, as Lizzie, Shelby and Mason are all away at study camp, and I need to go food shopping. Olivia, just the child I wanted to see. What's up? Jess will be here to babysit for you soon. Why? Because I'm going food shopping, and at ten, you're too young to be left at home on your own. You must be a good girl for her. If you're naughty, and I find out... You will be grounded for a week. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Clear as a bell. Good girl. I'm trusting you to behave. I'm here. Jess, thank you for coming to look after Olivia while I'm out food shopping. Glad I could make it, Aunt Lily. And you, Olivia, misbehave yourself while I'm looking after you. I know you have a tendency to be naughty for your babysitters. She's been warned of the consequences of any misbehavior while you're looking after her. If I find out she was naughty, she'll be grounded for a week. And I shall punish her myself. I already promised not to do anything naughty. Make sure you keep to your word. I will, and that's a guarantee. I'll make it a three-week grounding if you break your promise. So, Olivia, what have you been up to lately? 
Sit down and tell me all about it. There's not really anything to tell. Oh, come on. You must have done something interesting. Spill it. Spill what? The tea? On purpose. Jess, I can't do that. That would be me being naughty after I promised I wouldn't. Are you being funny? Not really, because you're not laughing. All right, clever clogs. There's no need to smart off. Smart off? I thought I was smarting on. Olivia, you were so cheeky. Sorry if I'm a little slow here, but I thought it was normal for children to be cheeky. I guess I was wrong. Are you being naughty? Naughty? Not in the slightest. Come now, Olivia, you're being a bit naughty. You'll go to your room if you don't stop it. On the other hand, breaking your promise after guaranteeing your mum that you'd keep it is very naughty. Go to your room right now. Your mum will hear about this. Naughty girl. Hi. Let me guess. Olivia was naughty after promising me she wouldn't, was she? I'm afraid so. I'm so sorry. That naughty girl is in so much trouble. How dare she be naughty after promising me she'd behave? You go home and calm down, and I'll sort her out. I love you, Olivia Laura Barrett. Get your naughty bottom down here, right now. What is the meaning of your disgraceful conduct? How dare you misbehave after promising me you wouldn't? That is really naughty. I expect you to know better. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, you naughty girl? I'm sorry. I'm sure you are, as I now have to ground you for three weeks. Also, you can get your naughty bottom off to bed. Go on. Bed. Now, naughty girl. Bed. Yes, Olivia. Bed. Go there, right now. You're a very naughty girl. Fine. I'll take you up and put you to bed myself. How dare you keep being naughty like this? Lizzie, can I talk to you? Of course, Olivia. Sit down. What do you want to talk about? I've got a test coming up and wondering if I should worry or not. Hang on, Olivia. You're nervous about the test, aren't you? I am. And that's what all this acting up was about? Yes. I can see how nervous you are about this test, sweetheart, so I'm going to give you my advice. Don't think about it, because it'll just add to your worries and make you more nervous. Just takes it easy and relax. I only give you this advice because I love you and I hate to see you getting all worked up about nothing. Come here. Thanks, Lizzie. Anytime, my sweet little candy drop. What shall I do now? As your babysitter, I suggest you get comfortable and relax. How? You could have a lie down. You mean like, go to bed? Not necessarily. You could lie down on the sofa. Unless you'd rather go to bed. Looks like somebody's tired. Yeah, I am tired actually. Come on you. Let's go and put you to bed. You poor thing.
I had a good day so far. I was... Grace, come on. Where? Up to your room. Why? To change your nappy, of course. Come on, you need changing. Michelle? Are you home? I was upstairs changing Grace's nappy. Okay, sweetheart. Little Grace needed her nappy changed, did she? She did. Why am I still in nappies? Grace, you're still in nappies because you have toileting issues. Can't I take my nappy off when we get back to yours, man? Only while I clean you up, and then it'll be another nappy on. We'll be going soon. You know you need your nappies on all the time. Come on, Grace. Let's get you back to mine, change your nappy and then settle you down to watch TV. I hope she behaves herself. Okay, Grace. Now that we're back, it's time for your nappy change. Nappy change? No way. As I told you before we left your mum's, I am changing your nappy upon arrival here, and I meant it. Don't you dare be naughty. There, all nice and clean. If you misbehave any more, I will put you straight to bed. So watch it. Uh -huh. Little Grace. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks, Granddaddy. You must behave here, otherwise it'll be straight to bed. I dare say, Fox, she only needs a warning once. Nemo, shouldn't you be studying for your degree in research? I heard that, Little Grace. You were poking fun at my brother, and that is very naughty. You just wait. Now, Little Grace. That was naughty of you, wasn't it? No. Yes, it was. It was very naughty of you to misbehave after being warned and poke fun at my son. How dare you think that was appropriate? You are a very naughty girl. What do you have to say for yourself? Might I just query as to what's going on? Little Grace here is still being naughty. She poked fun at my son. That's it. Grace Barat, how dare you be naughty again after being warned? I am taking you upstairs and you are going to bed. You bad girl. My, what a day this has been. I can't say I approve of little Grace being naughty. If she misbehaves here, I will put her in time out. Mum, I have a hunch little Grace is going to be naughty. We all have the same hunch. Let's hope we're wrong. She's bound to be naughty. Worry not, you four. If she's naughty, she'll be punished. Here she is, Lily. Beware. She's in a naughty mood today. Grace, I'm warning you now. If you're naughty, you will be sent to the corner. Snap out of that naughty mood, right now. Hey, naughty. You don't know. Grace Roseanne Barat. How dare you speak to your aunt like that? You are very naughty. You little missy, are a very naughty girl. How dare you speak to me like that? Corner. First, we need to change your nappy. Change my nappy? Nope. Yes, you are having your nappy changed, and then you are going in the corner. 
that's the naughty girl changed and in the corner. Do we need to change your nappy again already? No, but I need to put a nappy on you. How dare you speak to me like that? You shall not put a nappy on me at all. And, you've taken your nappy off haven't you, naughty girl? Come with me and I will put you another nappy on, now. Blimey. I never thought little Grace would behave. Even on the bed. Olivia, I hope I didn't hear you correctly. Please don't say you bet someone that little Grace would be naughty again. I was speaking hypothetically. Are you lying to me? No, Mum. I'm not lying to you. If you're not lying to Mum then why are the used betting slips in your bin? Olivia Laura Barrett, how dare you take bets on your cousin misbehaving? and then lied to me about it. Naughty girl, get to your room right now, and you are grounded for a month. Mum, calm yourself. I'm sorry Shelby. Nonsense, you have nothing to be sorry for. You did the right thing by turning Olivia in. Here's an idea. Stop going on about it. You're absolutely right, Lizzie Pop. Maybe we should forget all about it. What's the... Oh, I see. There is no trouble. Sorry I wasted your time, Jess. Wasting my time. And Lily, coming out trouble or no is never a waste of time. Tis a gorgeous morning. It certainly is, my honey. Good morning, Mum and Dad. Good morning, Jessie Bunny. How are you this fine morning? I'm really well, thanks. Fit is a fiddle. We are glad to hear it. Tori will be here in a bit. We're keeping hold of her for a while. I have arrived. Welcome, Tori. Did you bring everything you need? My mum's bringing my luggage in about an hour or so. Fair enough. Jess will show you to your room. Follow me, my sweetie. Dory reminds me of Jess when she was a child. I think we should have another child. That would be great. Best to do that before we turn 40. Which isn't very long to wait. Not very long at all. Let's go and try to get you pregnant again. Next, please. Ah, uh, yes, Olivia Barrett, is it? That's right, and you are. Mr. Dugary, that's who I am. Your new headmaster so kindly treat me with the proper respect. Okay, as long as you do the same for your staff and students. We heard you were kind of a... I won't say any more. That's a wise idea. I'd hate to have to get rid of you. You may now return to class. My daughter is in her class. Best of luck to them dealing with a Dugary girl. 
Sorry I'm late, Mum. I was in a meeting with the Dubery. That's Mr. Dubery to you, bitch. And you must be his daughter. I demand an apology for the way you just spoke to me. Well, don't just sit there, Ellen Stefani Dubery. Apologize to my daughter, right now. Or it's three weeks' detention. Your daughter? There's a laugh. You don't even know how to be a mother. You should ground Olivia and put her in nappies. How dare you speak to me like that? I don't need to take that kind of lip from a naughty girl who was clearly born by complete accident. And neither does my daughter. As of now, Ellen, you have three. No six weeks' detention. If anyone has no idea how to parent a child, it's your father. We have two people who are constipated. Mother and daughter. And here's my solution. Nappies for the pair of them. Actually, Ellen, you're the one who should wear nappies, not my mum and I. How dare you? Another thing, Miss Dubery. I will put nappies on you if this babyish behavior carries on. Stop it, right now. Oh no, not a nappy. Oh, I'm so scared. It'll be an appeal, if you blurt out one more sarcastic comment. You are such a baby. You'll put a nappy on me? Yeah, right. You don't even have any nappies with you. That's where you're wrong. I do have nappies here. I always bring some with me in case my students need them on. And you, Ellen, do need them on. And you are having nappies on, right now. How dare you speak to me like that. So come with me, and we will put you an appeal, now. Blimey. I sure am glad that's over. Olivia, just forget about it, because it never does to dwell on the bad things. I could have messed myself out of anger. Olivia, stop going on about it. You're being naughty, mum's right, honey bunny. Forget about it and move on. Otherwise I'll have to put a nappy on you just like I'm about to do to Shelby. She's having nappies on. Why are you putting her in nappies? I'm putting her in nappies because she's wet herself. So if you'll excuse me, I'm off to put a nappy on Shelby before she wets herself again. Come on you naughty young lady. Nappies for you. Shelby and nappies? What a baby. Olivia, do you need nappies too? Yeah, I mean no. You said yeah first. So come with me, and I will put you a nappy on now. There, your nappy is on now, and it stays on until you need changing. Mum. Yes, Grace. What can I do for you? You could give me 50 pounds. I don't think so. You cheeky monkey. Me? Cheeky? Never. What's this? Have I gone back in time? What are you on about, Aunt Lily? What I mean, Grace, is the same conversation happened between me and your great-grandmother 30 years ago. It's like deja vu. I see. Were you being naughty? Naughty? Yes, Grace, naughty. Were you being it? No. Lily, sweetheart, where's your time machine? What time machine? The one she used to travel back to 2023. Sorry about this, Lily. Grace, go to your room, you've been naughty.
Hey mum. Hi Lily. Please sit down. What was it you wished to see me about? Well, I've noticed a lot of strange goings on lately and I was hoping you might be able to shed some light on this subject. What sort of strange goings on? Well, I don't know quite how to explain it. But, this familiar looking little girl here was seen walking around outside. You know why this little girl looks so familiar, don't you? She's me when I was very little. I thought so. What's she doing here? Where am I? What year is this? You're in your mother and father's living room, in the year 2053. 34 years in your future. What? Really? Really, and I'm the future version of you, Mum, Nan. Oh, you've noticed. Who are you? Little Lily, you know who I am. I'm Shelby, one of your future children. I will have kids of my own in the future? Yes. You will have four of them. Three daughters and a son. I know it's a lot to take in. Wait a minute. You should neither know about this, nor should you be here with yourself as an adult. It's a paradox. I don't even know how I got here. Allow me to refresh your memory. There's a time machine just down the street. You came in that. How do you know that? I saw you coming out of it this morning. Come on, let's go and send you back to 2019, where you belong. That was very unusual. I can't believe this. Last night was awesome. Mum, is everything all right? Yes, thank you, sweet Lizzie. Everything's fine. Okay, if you're sure. Of course I'm sure. Lizzie, if Mum says she's fine, she's fine. Don't worry. I just worry because I love Mum and I want to make sure she's all right. I know, but you needn't worry, girls, please. Don't argue over this, it's not worth it. Is there a slamming match going on? No, Olivia. Nothing of the sort. Okay, I was just wondering. Wonder no longer, my angel. You're sweet to worry. Bless you, Lizzie. Thank you. We love you, Olivia. You're our little baby. Shucks.